There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And this is Amy's first primer. This disc is dedicated to Amy, whose birthday came on September the 8th. It helped her wait another year for kindergarten. Oh, so somebody called Rob Robinson just designed this for presumably his daughter. Okay, let's give it a go. Amy's first primer, 2.2. So, we have a menu here, and we have a selection of activities. Oh, well done. Uh, presumably this was all done by one person, just for his daughter. And he decided, hey, I'll release this. Let's try the ABC song. Computing specialties. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I've learned my ABCs. Will you come and play with me? Okay, and it, it just keeps going. Very nice. Okay, well, that worked. And I apologize for my singing. And I got some of the lyrics wrong because I learned it differently back in the day, okay? So let's have some very fun letters. Okay. It's loading. And we've got a princess in a castle. Q. Okay. That, that is indeed Q. Uh, do, we, do we have to press Q? Ah, right. Okay. And then we've got some sort of truck. Begins with T. Correct. A ladder, or is that drum? No, it's a xylophone, isn't it? X, yes. A violin, no, it's, it's actually fun guessing what the graphics are. Yeah, apple. Oh, and I, I can just keep going. Yeah, a diamond a cart, no. Okay, give us a clue. W, wagon, boat, and doll, no. Not, not at all. G? Okay, how, lo how long do I wait until it actually tells me? Put me out of my misery. What is this? Girl? Doesn't actually tell me. Yo-yo. Uh, ring. Elephant. Ladder. G? No? Nine? N nine. Uh, uh, looks like a tankard of something. A jug. Hat. Umbrella. Peanut, snail, zebra, fly swatter? No. Hmm. What's that meant to be? K. Okay. Uh, fish, uh, ice cream, uh, car, uh, and again, number nine. So it repeats. Yay, you did it! Oh, that wasn't actually too bad. That wasn't bad at all. And it's, it's, it's counting again. Right, okay. So, let's try bunny letters. Because I am the man to do this kind of thing. Alright. QPSJ. Uh, I think... Alright. Oh, the bunny has a bit of string attached to his deal. And he has to make connections. So, we'll head over here. Hooray! And then a secondary bunny, of equal importance, has to make another connection. And you send all the bunnies across. Let's see, does the... Right, numpad doesn't work. Yeah. So it's just the arrow keys, no numpad. Uh, Q for queen. There we go. Hooray! All right, let's do that again. Elephant. Boat. Oh, well, that's simple, isn't it? Look at that. They're, they're, all, they're all lined up together in that one. Uh, xylophone. You, you just have to figure out what the what the little things are. It's a little finickety in terms of uh, hit detection. You need to be quite obvious with where you're going. Otherwise, it's like, where, where, are, you, where are you going, bunny? All right. And presumably, we get all the bunnies. And then, 
oh, what was this girl, wasn't it? Instead of doll. Apple. And it doesn't matter if the lines cross over either. Which is nice. You can hear me frantically hammering on the keys here. To get this done. I'm actually going to switch hand. Uh, what was that? Oh, no. D for diamond, was it? Yes. And this... Was this randomly a K? Yeah. Somebody can tell me what that fly swatter like thing is. K. B, C, D. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. So after each game, it tells you all about the alphabet. Now we're on to very fun counting. Which, assuming I'm guessing correctly, will be a math based variant of. Yes. And you just hit the, uh, the keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is keeping my math sharp, you know. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Eight. A borderline dyscalculus, so this is actually quite difficult. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I have to count them out loud. I can't do it in my head. Uh, any more than four or five, and I'm in trouble. I love the uh, the PC speaker going up and up and up. That's a very nice design choice, I have to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, one, four, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exciting stuff, and nine to polish it off. Yay, you did it! I have conquered this children's counting game. And it does another round, I guess, but you can immediately exit out of this by, you know, hitting escape. Now we've got to help the froggy. Oh! And we've got a nice sort of, almost like a Oregon Trail kind of PC speaker thing going on. So the froggy has to solve the maze. Uh, i tell you what, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Have I? Oh, maze is complex, difficult. And it's counting the moves as well. And then the reward for the frog, om nom 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 nom. Very tasty. Now, I'm wondering, are these mazes procedurally generated? Because if they are, then this technically provides infinite replayability. And I have to say, it reminds me of Fun School. The early Fun School games had a frog as the mascot. So, to see a little bouncing frog again, it's, it fills me with nostalgia. You know, that EGA sort of look with a froggy does it for me. Because I grew up in the 80s, man. I remember EGA graphics and 8-bit computers and such. Oh, with the greatest of ease. Alright, so does it just keep going? Could play this forever. You know, break the 20 minute time limit on a random edutainment title made by one guy, you know. Uh, I think we'll just head out of that. What's left? Just load the truck. Let's load the truck. You know what? This has been legitimately entertaining. Okay, so we're a little truck driver. And we drive our truck over. And we pick up using the arrow keys. And then we, we load onto the truck. That worked. Now we need to get a square. Let's load that on there. And it automatically loads it up for you. I'm not entirely sure about the constant PC speaker noise. That's not so great. That design decision to emulate the engine with the PC speaker. Not so hot. Oh, let's just get through this, shall we? <laughs> and you can see the flickering of the truck. There's no animation, it just flickers as you move there. Okay, that's that's it, isn't it? Uh, how do we? 
How do we attach the, the thing? Do, do we go over here? Nope. And that PC speaker noise is really starting to get to me. So I'll leave it there. Well, I tell you what, Amy's first primer was actually quite enjoyable. The ABC song was funny and enjoyable to sing along with, the once. Berry Bun Letters was actually quite good. Bunny Letters was good in terms of the counting. And Berry Fun Counting is one of the better ones, I have to say, of, of those early listed. But Help the Froggy appears to be procedurally generated. So you could help the froggy go through that maze forever if you wanted. So yeah, for a little game made for somebody's daughter, this was exceptionally well done. And if you enjoy me taking on all DOS games, be they edutainment or otherwise, feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you already know that my edutainment is second to none, then you're probably one of my knowledgeable patrons who could head through these counting and letter games without any fear because of their vocabulary and mathematical prowess. A secret cabal of excellent individuals, be they patrons or members. So yeah, really enjoyed this one. Kind of surprised myself, really. Wasn't expecting much. I love when DOS Gaming does that. Until next time.